Hello everyone, welcome to today's MCQ practice session from the subject Periodontics. Periodontology and Oral Implantology is the topic proper. Let's see. Primary objective of oral hygiene is removal of dental plaque, removal of materia alba, stimulation of gingiva to prevent halitosis. Primary objective of oral hygiene is removal of dental plaque. The relationship between the working edge of the instrument and the tooth surface is working edge and the tooth surface is adaptation. Refers to the manner in which the working end of a periodontal blade is placed against the surface of a tooth. Gingivitis due to allergy is plasma cell gingivitis that is due to allergy. Enamel matrix proteins are available under the name of enamel matrix proteins. Imdogan. Porcine enamel matrix proteins are harvested carefully, selected, processed and packaged under the trade name Imdogan. Gingival enlargement is a side effect of which drug? Phenytoin, calcium channel blockers, acute myelocytic leukemia. All this could result in gingival enlargement. Physiological mobility depend on diurnal variation, person to person, root morphology, all of the above. The periodontal instrument unit shows in this picture is oral irrigation device. Yes, via Z is the name. Degeneration of periodontal tissues without inflammation is called without any inflammation there is degeneration that is called periodontosis. Juvenile periodontitis is also called periodontosis and there is no inflammatory findings. Which positioning error would most likely re cause a reverse occlusal plane curve on a panorex? Chin tilted too far upward. The, if this is done in the OPZ, there will be reverse occlusal plane curve. The main component of keratins in the stratum corneum is keratin polypeptide 68KD, K1 keratin polypeptide 68KD is seen while in basal cells the main keratin is K19 or 40KD. The lesion seen in the color plate shows angular bone loss in around 46. What is the most probable diagnosis? Periodontal abscess, gingival abscess, periapical abscess with sinus tract, lateral periodontal cyst. There is angular bone loss means periodontal abscess is there is a localized purulent inflammation of the periodontal tissues. Less than adequate remaining bone support, some tooth mobility, acceptable patient cooperation, presence of limited systemic or environmental factors comes under less than adequate remaining bone support. Means uh, presence of limited systemic or that is fair prognosis. Complete disinfection of the mouth is achieved in full mouth scaling in 24 hours. One stage of full mouth disinfection was introduced by Liu Van group in 1990s. Junctional epithelium is attached to enamel by desmosomes or hemidesmosomes is also the option. So it is hemidesmosome because it is attached to enamel. No. Yeah. Which of the following is not a definite indication of occlusal correction? Wear facets, widening of periodontal ligament, pain during teeth contacts, TMZ syndrome. Which of the following is not a definitive indication of occlusal correction? Wear facets. If there is wear facets, 
they can be in normal variation also occlusal correction is indicated when signs of trauma are present what is the traditionally recommended splinting protocol for the management of root fracture if there is a root fracture three to four weeks semi rigid fixation is done incidence of gingivitis in pregnancy is almost 50 to 100 percent of the cases have gingivitis Which of the following is the main reason for aggravation of gingivitis in pregnancy? Increased P. gingivalis, this is also there, but the main reason is only progesterone hormone. Dentogingival unit is composed of periodontal fibers and junctional epithelium, gingival fibers and junctional epithelium, Gingival fibers and junctional epithelium. Type of periodontitis which does not respond to therapy is refractory periodontitis. Apically positioned flap is placed. Apically positioned is 2 mm apical to crest of alveolar bone. Calculus attaches to tooth structure by the following ways except by means of an organic pellicle, mechanical locking in surface irregularities, close adaptation to the undersurface depression, stacks of calcium phosphate reacting chemically with enamel walls. This is not seen. While the calculus attaches to tooth surface, there is no chemical reaction. What is the recommended distance that the operator should stand from the patient while taking radiographs? It is the 6 feet. A 36 year old female patient presents with extensive vesicles formation over gingival leaf, sick and tongue. 2 to 4 days later the vesicles ruptured from the pseudomembrane. There are few skin lesions also present. The condition can be erythema multiforme. Which of the following statements are true? Marginal gingiva is stifled, attached gingiva is stifled, both marginal and attached gingiva are stifled, and marginal attached and alveolar mucosa are stifled. Only the attached gingiva is stifled. Healing is also delayed by all except excessive tissue manipulation, trauma, debridement, presence of foreign bodies. Healing is delayed by all except debridement. Debridement should be done actually. Healing is promoted due to debridement. It is not delayed. That's all for today's practice session. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed.